Okay, so today I'm gonna show some of bits of mesh. So let's say these are just a couple roof tiles. Um, when I make stuff like roof tiles or wood, just wood planks in general, I actually try to keep it no, actually something like this. But a lot of times if stuff, things are further out, we could go somewhere in between these two. I say we're happy with this. Then I'm gonna move these all to the origin. Freeze transforms. And to use mesh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here into the mesh tab. If mesh is not working, um, you probably don't have the plugin um, turned on, right? So we're gonna grab these four. And you know what, I'm gonna call this LA. So I'll say the only downside about mesh is it's gonna scatter everything and then merge it all together in one mesh. So you're gonna lose these names at the end. But it's good to name these so when you're do, when you are in the process of scattering them, it's easy to keep track of the variations, right? So I'm gonna click this button right here. It's gonna create a mesh network. So make sure you're in the mesh tab, click on this. They're gonna disappear and only one tile is gonna be there, okay? Or in this case, there's four. Um, I'm gonna click on this right here and it opens up a mesh editor. It's kind of like an outliner of um, what kind of tools you're using. Okay, so you could have multiple mesh networks. So here's a mesh network here for the roof tiles. I could have another mesh network for a different set I wanna do. So the default network here is gonna be mesh distribute. We're using this to distribute and it says number of points. Right now we have four tiles. I could change this to like 40 tiles, and I lay them all out and I could just adjust this however I want. I could change that distance if I want to, controlling how far out they spread. Up the spread, offset, all of that. We could do all of this, okay? Using mesh, it's really mesh is really powerful. Reduce this. Let's do something smaller. So right now, it's only scattering this one object, and it's going to only be scattering one object until I give it a new node. I'm gonna go click on mash right here. If I'm in my attributes editor, it shows all these different nodes, okay? And I'm gonna click on this one right here called ID. It's, uh, it's gonna allow me to have multiple objects scattered, okay? So I'm gonna click on that and go add ID node. It'll place it right in this outliner, or this editor right here for mash. Now we have all four of those variations in there. Four, but you notice the pattern is just repeating. So one, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Um, if I go to this ID node right here, it says linear. I could click on that and I could go random. I could go cycle, fixed, so I'll just show one. So I'm gonna go to random and if we don't like the result it gives you, there's this random C, it'll just change the randomness of it. So you could just kind of push this around until you find one that you like. So I'm gonna add a random node. I'll click on that at a random node, and it's gonna randomly move them from their position from the previous one, okay? Right here, position one, one, one. You'll notice that they're all randomly moving within uh, one boundary. So control that by pulling this down. So now it'll randomly scatter them within that point one range. Let's go point, point one. Ten point one range. Um, so too much for me. So now they're moving within point zero one range. So they're just like shifting between them. And now it's the same with rotation. This way is it's more flexible. I don't want them to move too much, rotating this direction because they start colliding with each other. But I'll allow there to be just a little bit. You know, if if it's hard to tell. You could exaggerate it a bit and then go to this random strength and pull it down. This is just lining up uh, using the mesh distribute right now. Your original tiles that we used to make this still exists. If, if you need to move this mesh somewhere to a different location, you could go in here, go into this node thing and there's a transform option. So I could add a transform node. 
move it somewhere else if I want to. I could add a controller too if I want to. So instead of just typing in the number, I could go in here. Okay. Just um, click on this. So I see this window here. See this controller null. Grab middle mouse, click that, drag it, drop it in there. Now it's on there. Now I could grab this controller and move this around. Okay, let's say you want to add more roof tiles. Let's say you make another roof tile. You want to add it. What I would do is go into, actually I could click on this right here. Okay. You know, it'll bring me to this. And I could go over here. Let's say I make another tile. And do some weird things to it so I could recognize it. Okay. So now I'll click and drag this in here. It's added into that list of tiles. Okay. Uh, it's not showing up in here because I need to go into this ID tool. Right now it's four count. I have to up that to five. Let's say I uh, don't like one of these tiles. The original tiles are still in here, they're just hidden. Turn them back on. Grab the tile I don't like and make adjustments to the tile and it will show up in the tile right there okay even grab all these points and be like oh, i don't like the positioning of that tile here's another thing i don't like the angle of these tiles grab these rotate up here um, if i unhide whatever i call the roof here let's say this is a roof Let's say I want to stick this on that roof up there. I'm going to go to distribute right here instead of linear. I'm going to click on mesh. There's all, all sorts of ways to distribute. There's radio like this, a circle, spherical, so within a sphere. There's all sorts of things. Um, but I'm going to do mesh. And it's going to have an input mesh right here, OK? And I'm going to grab the plane over here. And I'm going to grab that roof, drag it into that input mesh. Now those tiles are covering that roof over here, OK? Right now, they're randomly scattering on that roof, OK? I need to tell it how to scatter on there. So I'm going to go in here and say, hey, it says scatter. I can go every vertex. Let me change the color of this random vertex. If I do vertex, you notice it's going to do it in order. Face center. So you have all these different kinds of patterns that you could do. Okay. I'm just going to do face center. And if you don't want to slide this to finally fill up this geometry, you have an option right here called flood mesh. So I'm not happy how, with how they're rotated. So I'm just going to go to the original tile here. Just rotate them. Now You need to offset them. So yeah, what I usually do is if I take my time, I can do it, but for me it's just faster to just spread these out a little bit. It's I'm happy with this. I just duplicate it. A little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go to this random node and just do a different random. So they're a little different than before. And then I duplicate this. Boom. So these are my meshes, the duplicated ones. Just merge this together. And if I'm done with this mesh, you know, you could keep it. But I'll, if you wanted to keep it, I'll just save the scene. So you could go back to it if you need to. I personally think the mesh node just gets in the way. It just makes your scene heavier. So I, once I'm done with that, you should go in here and just hit delete network. So there's my roof tile.